Hi guys, it's Alicia here with my work basket. Today I'm giving you kind of a walkthrough of this little goodie box I made. So this is for the design team I'm on, the Crafters Cafe Challenge. This was sponsored by Dr. Digi's House of Stamps and he provided me, Dr. Digi provided me, the website provided me, with this image it's a digi digital image. I will link to it in the description below. And it is called Undead Fred. So this image was provided to me free. Everything else I supplied. So I knew as soon as I saw this image that I wanted to do a goodie box. And I have a whole box of boxes. And this was kind of the one that I picked. I thought it'd be really cool to have kind of a window box and put like a bone shaped candy inside of it. So that's something I would do. But instead, I just kind of went with this one. So I printed out the Undead Fred. I just, love, I just love this image. It just cracks me up. So I printed it out, colored it in. And then what I did was layered the colored image, which I also outlined in black, onto this piece of chipboard. Now, the interesting thing for the theme for this challenge was stencils. And when you look at my project... You don't really see where I used a stencil, but I promise you it is on there and it is right here. So what I did was actually stenciled onto a book pulled out, a, a bit, bleh, bleh, sorry, I, pull, I stenciled onto a sheet pulled out from a book. So it's a book page that I tore out of an old busted book and then I stenciled onto that with this chevron stencil to match the chevron of the box. And then I tore that into pieces and used it on my cardboard component, on my box, on the back of my box. And so my stencil that I used is kind of spread throughout the work instead of in one super obvious location. So what I did was I took my cardboard piece, I inked around the edge, I did layers of my stenciled book page, some washi tapes that kind of match the coloring of my image and my box. So I have some glittery black, some glittery green, and some kind of polka dotted. I did the same thing on the box itself. And then I glued my chipboard piece onto the box. And I just did kind of like one big glue glob back in there. And so after you ate or used whatever was in this box, you could choose to kind of yank this off and use it for something else. And so that was how I did that. I really liked it. It came out pretty much exactly as I pictured in my head, which has not been happening to me a lot lately, to be honest. So I was really excited for that. So that is my Halloween Undead Fred goodie box. I feel like it'd be something, I mean, it's pretty easy. It didn't take a lot of like massive technique. It was stencil onto a book page, tear it into pieces, use some washi tape, color an image. So the overall result looks great. But the technique used was like a beginner could absolutely do this. There was nothing super amazing that I did on this. Just some basic layering, some basic stenciling a lot of coloring. And for my coloring, I use alcohol markers. I don't have the like Copic brand. I just have a brand where I got a big old box full. I think it's like 120. I asked for them for Christmas one year. So I just have a big old bin of like all kinds of different colors of a more generic brand. And it works great for me. And so that is my goodie box. It's just a little gable box. There's nothing in it at the moment. Ba bam Empty box. So I will eventually put stuff in it. I might do more of them. I was Originally, I was thinking of doing them for my students. I have 12. And I was like, I was going to make one for each of them. And then I was like, honestly, I think I would get sick of coloring this image 12 times. Just me personally, I get bored very easily. And so 12 of the same to me is not super likely. That was my original intention. But best of intentions, you know. So I have this one super special box and I will probably fill it with candy and do something special with it. So that is that. I hope that gives you some ideas for this image, for goodie boxes in general, and for your own paper crafts. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and hopefully this gives you some good ideas. All right. I will link in the description box to the image and where you can find it, to my website if you'd like specific pictures, and to the Crafters Cafe Challenge where you can also enter your own items. So have a great day. Bye.